Welcome to Art Making with the Caton Museum. My name is Tiana and I'll be creating art along with you. Today, we'll be thinking about the importance of reflection. The sky's mirror image in a lake, an artist's self-portrait, and even taking time to think about our feelings are all different forms of reflection. Today, we'll be creating mirrored images inspired by the light of the day and the dark of the night. Let's get started. For today's project, you'll need some paper. Today, I'm using watercolor paper. I wanna grab a pencil of some sort, a paintbrush, a container of water, and also some watercolor paints. And if you don't have watercolor paints, but you have acrylic, you can try watering that down or even using diluted food colors if you have that on hand. The first thing you wanna do is fold your paper in half. This will let you know where the division is, which side will be light and which side will be day. Now that I've got my paper folded in half and I'll know which side is the day and which side is the night, I'm gonna take my pencil and think about what kind of scenery that I'm going to be drawing. And it could be a person, it could be a place, it could be a thing, whichever you choose and you wanna take time to sketch that out. For my sketch, I decided to keep it very simple. My drawing's gonna be either the sun and moon over the ocean water. And you don't, your sketch does not need to be perfect. You just need to know where you'll be laying down your colors. Now that I've got my sketch down, I'm going to get ready to start laying down the colors. And with watercolors, you'll want to go from your lightest color to your darkest color. Before I start painting, and this is what my watercolor palette looks like, it, the paints are pretty dry. So before you can even pick up paint, you'll want to take your water and your brush and put some water on top. If you have a spray bottle, you could just spray water on top to reactivate the watercolors. Since this painting will be a reflection of day and night, you'll want to think about what kind of color tones do you need? So if it's during the day, the sun is what's helping shine the light on everything. And so when the sun is out, usually things are warm tones. So lots of yellows and oranges and reds, very bright colors. When it's nighttime, it's very cool tones. So colors like blues and purples, deep purples and deep blues and kind of uh, not as bright as it is during the day. So you wanna keep those things in mind when you're choosing the colors for your painting. With watercolors, you want to make sure you use a good amount of water, not too much, but if your colors are too dark, you can take your brush, put it in plain water, and help spread that color out to lighten it up. So I've laid down my base color, which is blue. If you'll notice, this side is lighter than this side. So this is gonna be my daytime, and this is going to be my nighttime.
If you've gotten too much paint in one area or too much water and it's really wet, you can use a old tissue or a paper towel to dab that part up. So I'm gonna let this part dry a little bit. I'm going to add more layers on top, but while this dries, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the sky area. What you'll notice I'm doing here is a putting color down and taking a brush with just water to blend these sharp lines out. So remember for the night site, you'll want to use lots of cool tones. So I'm using different shades of blues, some greens and some purples. So I added too much paint here, so I'm just gonna use some regular water and blend that out. Luckily, this is my night time, so it's okay if this part gets a little darker. And here is my finished product. So as you can see, I've got more warm tones on this side and I have all of my cool tones on that side. Thank you for coming to create art with me today. I would love to see what you have created. So don't forget to tag us on Instagram. See you next time.